PWN Podcast. Hello, whenever you're listening to this, um, you not already know who it is. This is the thing. I hate it when hip hop artists do that. So I'm actually going to introduce myself properly. My name is Joseph Kingston and this is apparently is the longest hot tag since DX versus the Brothers of Destruction. Because here I am replacing Daniel Lloyd, my tag team partner again. Welcome to what I call the Cut Chronicles, but the official company name is Raw Talk. Um, yeah, we're on all sorts of podcast platform, uh, notable ones, Spotify. Podbean and my personal favorite YouTube. Slap it on YouTube. L- leave it in the cor- Leave it in the corner while you just tidy some stuff up. But don't close it if you're on your mobile. Then it won't play unless someone can tell me how to do that. It's YouTube not that good technology. You, YouTube Premium. I think that's a thing. I think you can do it on like YouTube, YouTube Premium Rome. or whatever. Well, the like r- people, what like wrestlers Snapchat Premium where they. No, no, you no know, it's not that. Either. It's it's the YouTube only fans. The YouTube. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> you, but I didn't want to go that deep. Yeah, but that's why I'm here. And some, and some, trust me, some people are going that deep on OnlyFans. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, I do believe that we have a deal with Squared Circle Box. Squared Circle Box. If you enter TWM News into Squared Circle Box, they will send you a box of things, and you will get ten percent off said box. Um, there's a much better advert I did for it. I'm not sure if you're here at this podcast. Anyway, let me introduce the guests. Um, first guest that I'm going to introduce is a man who liked Uno so much he decided to flip reverse the way that things go on on podcasts in general it's matty della hello uh i wasn't going to be on draw talk this week and i decided then on a whim to um to be honest also i don't know if you can hear it i apparently am um recording from the end of wrestlemania because there are fireworks going off fucking everywhere so if you just hear that in the background because i'm ready to go (laughs) yeah if only if if only i had Flow Rider? No, Pitbull. Yeah, Pitbull was a green light, wasn't it? Um, same, same. It was thing. both Flow Rider and Pitbull. Ah, oh, because then that's what I say. Was, same, same thing. It was all the shit um, mainstream rappers. Yeah. And Matthew may be calling from the very end of WrestleMania. However, this man is calling from Narnia. I'd like to introduce you all to Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> I love this gimmick. Right, you know, so I love this. Really come on. If you're calling from the end of WrestleMania, I'm calling from Raw or SmackDown before I got an injection of money because we have no fireworks. <laughs> uh, so but he's choking on the lack of fireworks as well, which is... Yes, it's, it's horrible. It's horrible. I am not choking on a glass of wine. I swear to God. I'm a professional. <laughs> I was asleep anyway, until about speak- half an hour ago, so this is going to go brilliantly. Speak- Speaking of professionalism, let's get into this deeper than um, WWE have dug themselves a hole with Saudi Arabia. Take over the breaks over everybody because um, we had two days grace and we're now we're back on the black and yellow trying to impose their will on the blue and today, well yesterday, the red. Uh, what did you guys make of this continuation of the storyline compared to previous um, invasion storylines around this time of year? Uh, mm. I thought it was. I thought it. I, I thought it was fun. I thought it was a fun episode of Raw. Was, it was calm it compared was, to other years. I would say a little bit calmer today. It was kind of like the hangover from Friday. Yeah, like considering under siege, um, which was one of the best things WWE have done in ages. On yeah, that was on um, when they yeah SmackDown invaded. Raw like two years ago that would be two years ago wouldn't it um, you had the men two or three years ago you had the women last year yeah the women one was really really good and obviously that's involved now with the incident um, which turned out to be this year's most OP wrestling um, Halloween costume <laughs> uh, and this year I thought this was pretty good I thought, I liked that they kind of they they told straight off they told and didn't show, which left the intrigue, which is normally you want to do show, don't tell. But in this case, it worked because Triple H straight off alluded yeah. that I'm not alone. They are here. So anything, it could happen at any time. And they and they built in, built, built it up quite nicely leading to the end. It's the show and not the tell is um, the but who have I brought kind of element to it. 
Yeah, because it, he it, does it, have a really deep roster. With that. <laughs> he could have bought just the greenest guys who are just gonna shoot at everyone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tynara. I don't like he. <laughs> just her. You can leave Tynara. Tynara alone. No, what do you mean? <laughs> don't, you, don't you mean Aaliyah and whatever? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 only if that only if that leads to like a. T- ten on one raw male roster, raw female roster beat down on Aaliyah for twenty six really, minutes. Do you, do you want to know the really annoying thing about Aaliyah? Aaliyah is so offensively bad that I've forgotten the name of a much better, much more talented, much better looking um, tag team partner. Vanessa Bourne. Don't worry. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, let's get into actual raw instead of just dunking on Aaliyah. Um, right. Firstly, Trips offers an uncertain Seth Rollins a spot on NXT, um, but he does it with the undisputed Sword of Damocles hanging over his head. <laughs> it was- oh, I wanna jump into Rocky Horror right now so much. It's, um, <laughs> it was it was really good. Like, I I, I liked I liked basically um, Triple H going, either join me or you die. <laughs> <laughs> Which might have been something like, they said at Crown yeah. Jewel last week. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Death. Or exile. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, I'll take things they said, etc., etc. I I tell you what though, when Seth took the offer of the NXT or was like, I want the NXT title. Ah, uh, through my head, I was like, Oh no, they're just doing this. So Seth is somehow going to win, and we're going to get Seth versus the. Fiend again. <laughs> just that's exactly what I went through my head in watching just, no. all of the main event. I, I didn't. I didn't get that at all. My first thought was, "Sweet, they they are making Adam Cole look really strong. Like they're giving him oh, yeah. all these title matches on TV. Um, like he beat Daniel Bryan clean, which I feel like needs to be said." pretty much daily on every podcast we have that Adam Cole Even the one with nothing to do with WWE yeah I, somehow, somehow I will wrangle it in too um, that show tomorrow that Adam Cole beat Daniel Bryan clean um, on Smackdown last week in a phenomenal match Unfortunately, don't forget about the cutaway on Total Divas next season where they're back to where all the women are backstage on Smackdown and it's just on in the background yeah, <laughs> um, well, one of them says that how, how much how how much how sexy Adam Cole is because we all know it's true. Um, yeah, I've got um, Adam Cole is your male Candice LeRae. Anyway, um, when the OC come out and interrupt um, this offer, they are um, the undisputed era are joined by Dijakovic and Discipline Cardinale. You won't call him by his proper name. <laughs> what? <laughs> His proper name, which is the brother of Encouragement Martinez. <laughs> no, yeah, the brother Encouragement Martinez. Yes, exactly. Uh, exactly. Also, but in the, I don't know if this is the bit um, around this bit with the with the brawl on the outside. Yeah, they mentioned all the names. One person was there. They didn't mention his name once. Fucking that was Pete. the end of the show. I, talking, that was I, the end of the I show. know I'm jumping ahead with that bit, but Pete Dunn was there. <laughs> I did I not mention his name I'm once. Sitting down and I kind of went, "Ooh, Peter!" Yeah, mention Peter. <laughs> Peter is fucking there. Yeah, I was like, "When's like? Surely they're going to showcase Pete Dunne at some point because he's a big deal in NXT." Like, my my hmm. my, my thing was Raw ran out of time, and so if if we're going to jump ahead, we may as well jump ahead. And Raw ran out of time, so they didn't get to showcase the really impressive thing that they closed on. They, like p- commentary didn't get a chance to put that over, and I feel so bad for the guy. I feel so bad. Oh, what Ricochet or Keith? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, with the space uh, flying. Ricochet, yeah, the, we know what Ricochet can do. And Main Roster was like, "Oh, look at that big guy! Look at that big what?" Exactly. <laughs> Obviously, oh, we, Rick- we've all seen it live before, but seeing it on TV, that was just. The guy is just a it's actually real. We have, we have spoken to a good chunk of people of these people in real life. It's bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like the fact that um, he, he put it on his um, Twitter made me laugh. He's like, fans, oh WWE are going to water down your move set, and and then, and then he's doing a space flying tornado <laughs> on on Raw. <laughs> Albeit didn't end up on Raw because Keith Lee took his sweet ass time doing his flip dive. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, you're just really funny. J- jumping back a little bit. Um, uh, <laughs> sorry, I just got a message from Kayla, which made me laugh. <laughs> um, and 
they um, and they cut back, and it's funny the fact that they ever they mentioned Ed, literally mentioned everyone's name, and I'll keep having this home apart from Pete Dunne's name. Everyone got mentioned that was in that brawl, and I only noticed it was Pete Dunne because I saw that he was in street gear but still had his gum shield in, which yeah. was weird. Oh, it's when they said, "Oh, it's well, of course Ridden, they didn't mention like, it. If they didn't, if you don't recognise him, how are they going to?" It's, 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 it's just, he's been done so dirty because I was waiting he's surely going to batter someone at some point my goodness I've just realised the dream match that he might give us uh, but I just realised they can't give us a dream match that they um, give us because Xavier's out injured I want the New Day versus the um, British Strong Style they can still do the tag match they could do they could do yeah. Pete, Pete but, and Tyler no, against no, 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 but I know. versus Mustache Mountain they can still do no but no but I want BSS versus the New Day or or because I, we I was discussing this in group chat people, when George was suddenly booking so I decided he wanted to book <laughs> Survivor Series and I said about one of the the Survivor Series tags being Undisputed Aaron Bala against Rollins the OC and I said Ricochet but he did it applicable um as another one maybe they could do it um they can add to the teams maybe we could get British Strong Style what I would love to see uh, because of, what I want is Pete Dunne versus Daniel Bryan Oh, that oh, would be yes. sick. But maybe we could do a team which is like British Strong Style, Lee and Dijakovic against Daniel Bryan, then like the New Day, and then two others. Um, Trying to think uh, of two others. Ali. And Shorty G. There you go. That'll do. Yeah. Um, Like, there are so many scopes for awesome, like, face offs in this. So, like, when this was announced and we were like how's that going to work I was like oh is everything going to be um, like just triple threat matches across the board but they're actually thinking of really unique ways of interlocking everyone and it's making me probably the most excited for Survivor Series I've been in ages it does make me think though I, I was thinking when I was seeing this and obviously we'll get to the, the point in a, in a bit I don't think the feed is going to be on Survivor Series. Like, oh God, no, no, no chance. No, 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 no. no completely. No. Gone you got to protect. You've got to him. You've got to protect him. You got to protect him. I honestly wouldn't. I would not have him turn up until maybe you have him turn up at TLC. Maybe, um, perhaps as a massive firework goes off outside. Uh, yeah, maybe you have him turn up at TLC. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't have him turn up until. Maybe you have a number one tennis match at TLC, and whoever wins it, the fiend appears. Then, and that's the first time we see the fiend in months because they can't really do the thirty day rule once they've had Brock Lesnar as a champion. That rule just goes out the window. Um, but yeah, like you, we're not the fiend's not going to be around for a while. We are focusing on the war between brands that's now interesting compared to most years. And I will say this: they are. We are waiting for because they've got a three-way tag and they've got a three-way women's match but there needs to be a flagship three-way it might be aj velveteen dream nakamura oh do you mean as in a i think you might cough a little bit a three-way mid-card title thingy oh just a, a just a flagship singles three-way men's match because they don't have that yeah, yeah. Well, it'd have to be aj nakamura and strong yeah, yeah. Strong. Champion, not, those not, three champions. Not dream. Strong, isn't it? Yeah, but thing is, they. Ah, uh, well, uh, we'll you know what? Cole Cole's going to lead an undisputed era team. They're going to have undisputed era and someone against a team. So Rollins oh. isn't going to be in a match. Um, Cole's going to be in a match. Rollins will probably be leading. It will be Team Rollins against Team Cole. Um, Fish and O'Reilly are already in the tag match. Oh, that's a very good point. Completely forgot about that. They obviously announced the tag match, so which looks like it's going to slap. <laughs> oh what the match that's basically an good. NXT Dreamway Dream Dream Three Way match, of course. Sorry, Joe, we keep being interrupted. Yeah. It's, all, it's all good. Look, all I'm gonna say is this: WWE, for the first time in a while, I'm gonna say this. You, you honestly have the scope to do something incredible here. Um, <laughs> Don't fuck it up. <laughs> like, I'm, so, it, yeah. no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like. I'm actually look. I'm in my head. I'm running through their track record over the last two weeks, and the music in my head is do 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 do
bit. Yeah. <laughs> Little one, did they know. <laughs> one thing that they didn't fuck up was the My Way style, utterly astounding promo between Becky Lynch and Shayna Baszler. <gasps> oh, that was beautiful. Glorious, because it was the right amount of having respected it. it. It was the right amount of having respect and having no respect. The fact they're both in their face going... Ronda Rousey's my friend. I'm not, I know what you're capable of. Just want to introduce myself. And Becky's like, I haven't decided whether I respect you or I want to slap the head off you. So I'm going to take off. And neither of them, they, they didn't... What I love about this is this these things, especially when it's a triple threat, you could make it look like they're completely ignoring the third person. They both went, I'm not taking my eyes off Bailey, but I am watching you as well. And so that makes Bailey as hot as these two in this. In this, it was... Chef's kiss. Mwah. It was brilliantly done. And I tell you what, like Shayna, I always think so underrated uh, as someone with a promo. Yeah, definitely. She's, because of her straight, absolute straight lace style, straight to the point, no fucks given. Just, I'm serious. I know I'm serious. And I'm going to fucking batter you. You know what it is? I guarantee Shayna Baszler is the promo WWE wanted Ronda Rousey to have. Yes. I was going to, I was going to say, it's really funny because if you look at the makeup of the, um, four horsewomen, um, MMA four horsewomen on paper, you would say that like, if you, if you're just looking at their profile and stuff, you would say that Ronda Rousey is the Ric Flair equivalent, but that's not the case. That's not the case. It, the funny thing is, I'm not even. I, I think she might even be Tully. No, I honestly, with that, I think you're. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to question your opinion on the Four Horsemen, but um, Arn was a hell of a promo, and Arn was the enforcer. Shayna is Arn Anderson. Rousey is definitely flair because Rousey's box office. Rousey is showbiz. She might not be the technical wrestler that Ric Flair is, of course, but if we're looking at those things and we're doing the comparisons, Rousey is definitely flair. Like, she has that Arn Anderson vibe about her that... Um, yeah. That, I know uh, that Arn is a hell of a promo. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't get it twisted. My God, Ric Flair, oh. come on out here. I might have to rewatch that that promo from... <laughs> Four Horsemen reunion. Uh, it's yeah, spot, but my spot. No, not uh, that, not that one. <laughs> if I'm watching that one, I'm watching the parody of it because it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm. Fa- this match is fascinating because this is the one I'm most excited for. I'm, I'm taught like I love this. This is brilliant. I'm. It's amazing. You add NXT to something, and instantly a pay per view becomes really fucking interesting. Um, and also this ties up all the loose ends that everyone was like, "Why is there no singles titles on the line at Takeover?" Well, they're all wrestling at Survivor Series, <laughs> so so can't really <laughs> have any we'll titles just, change hands. We'll just put you all in war games instead. Yeah. You'll be fine. I, I guarantee. I guarantee. In the next couple of weeks, we're going to get confirmation of Falta Kushida. What a what a um what a, what a takeover? Yes, one hundred percent. And I sincerely hope that Volta chops his soul out of his body. I don't think I can chops his soul back to nineteen fifty six, whenever the flipping movie was set. Fifty five. Yeah, don't sp- don't speak ill. <laughs> that's that's white people culture right there. Back to the future. <laughs> yeah. Look, the thing is that we've obviously seen the raw smackdown. And- Kushida is a fed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not getting into yeah, your I just, grief for two of life. Sorry, Tom. Yeah, I can just picture obviously all these things going on with raw smackdown at NXT. There's a window and it's raining outside and it's dark with lightning and you just see the figure of NXT UK crawl, crawling at the window, <laughs> just like. Please, I want to play. Please. The, the worst thing about it the is, one, well, that makes me laugh as well. That's literally true because they did announce when this week, the start of NXT UK invading 205 Live and then three days later, 205 Live is going to be live from full sale with the start of NXT. So they've immediately just, <laughs> you know the bit in The Simpsons where they, um, where Homer gets, um, the, get, gets the wrong woman that thinks is Marge's mother to the car. She goes, can I come too? And they put the window up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> in both of those analogies, for some reason, I just see it as Joseph Connors. 
<laughs> no one wants him. He is the wrestler nobody wants. So, like, my favourite thing in life... And sorry to take a tangent. I'll move on to the next thing after this, I promise. <laughs> Everyone was talking about how well they presented Tegan Knox as um, in the Mae Young Classic when she finally entered the second time round because she got injured before she could the first time, if I'm correct. But she had finally entered the second time round and Michael Cole on commentary said, this is my pick to win. And everyone said, that's a huge rub. Do you know who Michael Cole's pick was to win the original UK tournament? Was it the person that invented the progress anti-pop when he turned up and everyone went, oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at this guy. He has half an ear. That means he's tough. He's my pick to win. Uh, oh. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Brock Lesnar. Lay is coming for you, puta. <laughs> I like the YouTube. True story. The the um his line originally said because I'm gonna out him for this bit. bit this bit being written down, he put essay and I went, "Why are you not putting puta? That's like the swear word. If you're gonna go all out, like if you're gonna do it, then you might as well just say the swear word." Fair enough. No, it's fine. It's just because you know I'm a host now. I need to take a little bit of responsibility. <laughs> I swear all the time when I'm hosting. What are you, what yeah. are you implying? <laughs> okay, yeah, well, in which case, I'm keeping my old title. Um, <laughs> the, the title of the next one, keeping it. Um, fucking Paul Lesnar, and they are big mad. Yeah. They're mad mad. They, 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 they're very mad. they big mad over a tiny man. It's. I, I liked all of this. I thought this was really, really well done. Yeah. Again, it was just it's just Heyman being Heyman and Lesnar just standing there silent, just like can, can I kill now, please, please let me kill. In my in, in my eyes, just from remembering some of his promos without Heyman there, he's like, if I if you let me speak, I'm either going to say something offensive or just scream for ten minutes. So, Paul, I'm just going to bounce up and down. <laughs> Don't mind me. This is my coping mechanism. Oh, say something. Stupid. Where's Sinkara's trampoline? <laughs> Falling apart like it does on 2K9, <laughs> on 2K20. Is it me, or is Paul Heyman leveraging his Jewish heritage way more in promos later? He does bring up a lot. I love that I've got a no cut. Like, again, he gave exhibition basically tying a neat little bow because creative couldn't be asked to do it on why Brock Lesnar has been allowed to move to Raw because they said he's got a no-cut contract they mentioned what we mentioned before about Raw having two draft considerations down the line due to trading Alexa Bliss and um, and Nikki Cross um, and he said Michael Lyon's got a no-cut contract because I'm a Jew <laughs> like, and I'm like if you said because of um, like because I'm like, I don't know. Uh, they definitely added a little bit other than just, I got a no-cut contract because Jewish. It's, it's just... <laughs> oh. Jew gets you everything. Just ask Saudi. Um. <laughs> not, again, not touching that with a massive, <laughs> massive <No>. bars. <laughs> to the no, no, no. Um, yeah, because then you had Paul threaten an old man. And uh, in the... I was going to... I was going to say, Paul's using Lola's heart attack for heat is great. That it was, was, yeah, yeah. It was, it was fun. It was, it was good. Um, I just, and then, oh, actually, everything that followed that, I, I enjoyed because I, I did not enjoy Dio Madden taking Lola's bump for her. Um, it was unnecessary. Dio Madden um, won my heart for making a one piece reference during the match before, and then died for his sin. I Vida like I understand I love Dio and by the way have you seen who the person that is sticking up for him on online <laughs> it's Ma- Mansur and he, he he retweeted the gif of Dio going through the table and then he's written you have made a powerful in Saudi Arabia only enemy my friend <laughs> <laughs> In and out of okay, Kayfabe, I think they're best friends. <laughs> no, they are. Like them two, I've they've done Twitch streams with New Legacy together, and ah, oh, it's just it's brilliant. Um, I went through Dio Madden's Twitter, and 
him it, he did he actually made a bespoke you know the meme of um like this person isn't my friend anymore this person yeah, is yeah, my yeah, new oh, friend yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah oh, it's like French oh what oh. friendship with Lesnar is over now Mansoor is my best friend <laughs> no this one was for for Tegan and Dakota <laughs> and it was a picture wow. of it was a picture of Tegan and Rhea <laughs> And it just said, oh, it just oh, said, oh, oh. friendship oh. with um, friendship with Dakota is over. Now Rhea is my best friend. <laughs> no, but it was <laughs> friendship with Evil Duck over. So, <laughs> like basically, she's a kiwi. <laughs> I need, to, I need to find it. Oh, his Twitter oh, is oh, is oh, gold. <laughs> um, yeah, and yeah, I didn't realize how big he was as well. I don't know why. I just did. Oh, he's an, NF- he's an NFL well. player. He's a former NFL player. Yeah. I just, I don't know why, it didn't clock. So I saw him get up and I was like, oh, you're pretty tall. No, yeah, no, now you're laying down. You're not as tall anymore. Yeah, it was just, it's the fact that everyone assumes commentator slash weeaboo <laughs> equals <Okay>. tiny. <laughs> but no, he's a hench, former, like, former American footballer. That's why WWE so loves him. be able to take a like, hit. Uh, <laughs> um, c- let me put it the best way possible. Like, if people think nerd and they think one thing, Matty, you're the person who's most likely to have done this. Have you ever met Matthias? Oh yeah, he's massive. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, Matthias has a, um, a tattoo of Psylocke up his leg, and it's a big tattoo because it's a big leg. <laughs> yeah, he is. He, he is hench. There's a ma- well. Got, yeah, there, there are several, but it's just funny that everyone <laughs> everyone was shocked at how big Dio Madden was. I'm like, fucking played football before he's in WWE. Um, uh. Then um, I'm actually gonna nick a bit from your bit because this genuinely made me laugh. I read it earlier. Ray then beats Brock with a rounders bat. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck you for stealing my <laughs> jokes, fam. <laughs> it was brilliant. Mainly because, sidebar, fuck me, Ray hit him hard. Like, twatted him in the knee with that bat. That was... <laughs> like, for a, yeah. for a he, shoot. He was chopping down a redwood. <laughs> But then it just it just then made me laugh. <laughs> You're calling it a, like he'd been down the beach with Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> Come Come on, on. We will I'm cut down ball. this tree to make firewood. <laughs> it's not. He's not. A, he's not a caveman. I can't. I still hurt from when Brock beat me up. Give me one moment. <laughs> he's like, oh, Dad, you brought me down here. I can't. I can't. I can't play. I can't play rounders. Let me just sit here with my Volta action figure. <laughs> One second. Five minutes later, just unleashing the beast on the back of Brock Lesnar's knee. <laughs> no, at one point, um, Paul Heyman said, "Unleash the beast," and I was like, "The way you phrased that definitely makes it sound like of your penis." And then the next sentence, you said, "Unleash Brock Lesnar," and I said, "That makes it sound even more like your." Penis. <laughs> so we send the Survivor Series. Um, Br- Brock Lesnar beats Ray via distraction when Paul Heyman gets out his penis. My client, Brock Lesnar. He says, motioning to his crop. <laughs> and here's my client, Cock Lesnar. <laughs> oh, this is. Speaking of cocks, I, should we I, talk I, about I, Lana and no, Lashley? No no, 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 we're not done yet. We're not done yet. I, I, I do have a serious question to ask before we go. Is this the longest streak of good promos that Rey Mysterio has ever cut in his entire career? <sighs> Oh, I'm trying to think if there was any if the ones with Eddie like yeah, was, was were pretty Eddie. good the ones that I'm pretty sure he cut really good promos and uh, I'm trying to think of what promos he cut around Batista like generally you know what it is you never remember Rey Mysterio promo so I can't do a comparison so you just remember the matches you never remember him talking yeah I never remember him talking at all so I'm going to say yes these are the best ones because these are the most recent ones that I can remember fair enough fair enough <laughs> This podcast, and indeed all TWM podcasts, are brought to you by SquaredCircleBox.com, the only place for your monthly wrestling box needs. With things from superstars from WWE, AEW, New Japan, Pro Wrestling, Impact Wrestling, British Wrestling, Independent Wrestling, and loads more, it is the only place that matters if you want to get the best wrestling swag for a low, low price. That low, low price is just £25, people. What a bargain! And you can get snapbacks, t-shirts, magazines... DVDs, trinkets, what you call it, doodads, you name it, they have it each and every month. And 
just because you listen to TWM, you sexy, sexy people, you get 10% of your first order. All you got to do is use the code TWM News in the checkout. Just use the code TWM News in the checkout for 10% off your first order at squaredcirclebox.com. said why not spread the gospel of the TWM squad with some of our lovely merch over at Teespring. We have t-shirts for all shapes and sizes, hoodies, sweatshirts, mugs, stickers and loads more. Also just for listening to this podcast you can get 10% off your order. I said using, I said use, I said using the code podcast. That's podcast. Once again podcast in the checkout for 10% off at teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash TWM dash wrestling dash merch. That's right. Praise testify. Now, Team Flair, run a train on Lana. I feel like that sounds worse than it is, but still. Okay, fine. We'll start. I'm just, I'm um, just... We'll start with like, we'll, I like to call this section of the podcast because ever since we went to a daily podcast, daily podcast every day, every week on TWM.news. Please go listen to every single one of them. Ever since we moved to them, there has been an element of word um, that is used in the group chat sometimes, but it's not used in that often. Like cuckolding. Cuckolding. Cuck. There's been an element of a cuckold. <laughs> it's so been cuckold mania. Yeah. Like, even though it main evented last week, but I like to call this um, the Cuck Chronicles. This section of the podcast, the Cut Chronicles. You can keep saying it all you want. I'm not making you a jingle for it. Fuck's <laughs> sake, Matthew. <laughs> Think though, all I'm hearing in my head is when you say the Cut Chronicles is the theme to the Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> the Cut Chronicles. <laughs> Just Rusev right. wanking in a fucking <laughs> in a locker, like we said before. Oh, still somehow with Alistair Black in the corner, <laughs> even though it's still a pirate. <laughs> oh, book it, WWE. Book Rusev accidentally masturbating in the cupboard where Alistair Black lives. <laughs> you cowards. Someone will knock. Nope, I'm not knocking. I'm just coming in. Literally. <laughs> you know, you, Matthew, Someone's you cut a hole in here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to talk about cowardice while I'm a host in a podcast, fam. We'll get to that. Um, Remember, you're fired if it happens. Rusev. You're fired if it happens. <laughs> Lashley, Lashley can't fight Rusev because he has a great strain from fucking life. I'm not going to lie. I nearly stopped watching Raw to Google. Can you can you tear your groin from fucking... Um, <clears throat> wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on, I've got. This I've, is all three of us thinking. How could we manage that? I'm. Go- oh, um, I was. I was going to say there's nothing I can say which isn't incriminating in this. Uh, right. Hold on. Hold on. I've got. I have an idea. Fine. No, don't. Oh, stupid. Fine. Hold on. Give me a second. Right. Because now. I'll... Okay. Um. Google. Can you tear your groin from fucking? Okay, no. message to your mum. <laughs> good, good lord, no! <laughs> uh, a, a abandoned no. idea, Matthew. Abandoned idea. Right, I can safely say that did not send to my mum. <laughs> Where did it get that from? Where did it get that from? What have you previ- previously asked Siri? <laughs> All I wanted to ask Google was, can you tear your groin from fucking and then what to... <laughs> Threaten me. <laughs> that was a threat. That was a threat from Google. <laughs> you know what it is? Siri thinks oh. you need the birds and the bees to walk. <laughs> oh, Google. By God, that man has a family. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Good, good Lord. <laughs> so, how aggressive must you bone to tear your groin? I don't know, man. <laughs> Joe, day, specifically, I'm asking you. How aggressive must you bone? Well, if you go at about 90 thrusts a minute and go on a speed... I have no idea. <laughs> I've pulled my groin. You're honestly I've never torn my groin. <laughs> you're honestly asking the wrong person. I may or may not have this for accident. Um... <laughs> All right, don't bring the tone down. Jesus, we're talking about... Tone down? 
Toad. What <laughs> Toad? Moon? I like to I think it be Moon. <laughs> Still. Anyway, Lashley has been Lashley Lashley been fucking, and he, and he tore his groin. So he asks Drew McIntyre to replace him. The bonds of Pokemon Sword run deep. <laughs> By the way, can I just point Why out? Do I call them Pokemon Sword because who were Corbin, Lashley, and McIntyre fighting all summer? Ha 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 ha! You made a Pokemon joke. Well done. I just want to have a frame of reference because what you said there, you said that Lashley asked Drew McIntyre to replace it. it. Was like for reference in the match against Rusev, not fucking Lana. <laughs> as far as well, we know. What was the title of this segment? What was the title of this segment? That's why I just said as far as we know. Now, to be honest, they're saving uh, Lana and Drew for next year. <laughs> oh yes, the an- the annual yearly um, cock contest for Rusev. Yeah. <laughs> Second so to go down the roster, Drew. You're not doing anything at the moment. Go and do Lana <laughs> next year. Humberto Carrillo, and no one will believe it. <laughs> God, he's not believable doing anything. Is I mean, is man, is, swa- is swag- man, still around? Is what, apparently, what they've been briefed to say. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> proceed me and me and car and this is brilliant because this is me and tom just completely derailing joe hosting which is a weird turn of events like i, like I said you are you're a big fan of uno you're a big fan of uno <laughs> i'm doing the reversals <laughs> all right rusev beats drew by dq after lashley isn't really e- um injured oh no <laughs> oh no what all, all, all that <laughs> All that says to me is that Lashley shit a fucking. He didn't. Re- he didn't really pull his groin. <laughs> that lazy bastard. Yeah. Do all or, work. or he lied back and really fucking Lana. <laughs> or or he was just lying back and thinking of Leo Rush. <laughs> he was letting Leo Rush be the mouthpiece. Oh. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh. Lashley. Uh, Lashley to hit his favorite pose. <laughs> <laughs> Lashley, it is with your faith. Oh wow, we've taken a new turn on this. Are we saying that Lana's cocking Rusev, but at the same time Lana is pegging Bobby Lashley? <laughs> I never want to close my eyes again. Bobby, please hit me with your favorite. <laughs> Lashley, Lashley, Lashley. 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 Just going in and out, shouting Lashley over and over meanwhile, again. Based, meanwhile, based on what they were doing on um at the closing shot of SmackDown, um Leo Rush has moved on to Isaiah Swerve Scott. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, the truest love story of Swerve and Leo Rush. God bless him. May they be forever happy. Um. Yeah, we got other bits as well yeah, with we this. Other bits in this section as well because honestly, this is actually us bantering is more entertaining than what actually happened. Because they're screen. they're still continuing Team Hogan versus Team Flair. No one cares. No one well, fucking cares. On that. No one cares. And it makes Lewis, Lewis no tights, sense. by the way. Yeah, he's got the Hogan Pardon? style tights still. Yeah, he's got the Hogan uh, muscle belt design on his tights. Yeah, <laughs> he's he's got the Hogan font and the Hogan pose on his gear. So you know they- yeah. my fa- my fandom for Rusev has come crashing down, and it hurts, hurts inside. <laughs> you know what else comes crashing down, and it hurts inside. King Lashley, 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 Lashley. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> long story short, um, Rusev gets the upper hand on Lashley because I think that's the idea in this story. Um, without all the fuckery, um, Rusev is actually the better man. Um, but then, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, who can guess what happens out of nowhere? Um, Randy on hits the overdrive. A gong from the That's Undertaker. right, we get a ricochet run in. <laughs> <laughs> get a ricochet run in after Randy Orton joins the party. Um, that's from, that's not from out of nowhere. There's literally shots fired before he turns up. <laughs> Fair enough. He fires a. He literally fires a warning shot before he does flips. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Like, so, in any other WWE climate, I would say that this is leading to a Survivor Series match. What Flair versus Hogan too? Yeah, was like 
I didn't watch Crown Jewel. Was that match elimination? No, it just went no, on for ages. So, like, do Flair Hogan too? I honestly, I, I feel like it's really, really strange that um, they can do this. It's really, really strange that two, um, two womanizing racists are that like are that good generals that they can bond a team together for longer yeah it's not as if people that have ever well, led we, armies I mean, before have been popular like. and players team. <laughs> Lashley Lashley <laughs> can we change subject because we are literally going to keep doing this over and over again it's going to keep coming back to Lashley getting fucked by Lana <laughs> ah peg it anyway <laughs> let's move on to the other news on WWE Raw, Raw Monday Night, Raw, I don't know what they call it, is it? I want, I want to talk about Zelina Vega, so can we get to the, can we get through the bits that don't matter? Cool. Number one, the OC beat the Street Profits and Humberto after AJ cheats. Um, face team were conspicuously absent from the TakeOver stuff, and I found it interesting because they are the most NXT team that you can get. Also, Montez Ford, promo got, promo go. Yeah, um, Humberto Carrillo just money, money, money. Um, Humberto Carrillo has lost three times in a row, and WWE apparently already giving up on him as a character. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> oh, you need to do the Batista thing. Yeah! Get that fucker to main event. Let him wrestle EC3 in the best of 400 series, or better yet, switch him with EC3. EC3 deserves better. Not so, I'm not sure about EC3 that one. EC3 is still too. hired? I know, <laughs> yeah. And in no way is that depressing. Um, right. Um, now we can talk about this, the best thing. Andrade and Zelina beat Sin Cara and... Uh, please remind me of her name. They, her name's going to be Carolina, but I swear Can Vic yeah. Joseph kept calling her Catalina. Yeah, I was going to say uh, yeah. Catalina kept Catalina on coming out. I was just like, that's not her name. Right. That's not her name. Oh my goodness, we're getting we're getting a Matthew segment. <laughs> we've literally we've literally had a Matthew segment unearthed before our very eyes. Um, hi Matthew, uh, if you're listening. Can I um, um can can I can I take the floor, Joe, for a second? If you want, um, or actual actual original host of most post podcasts. Because I just I just want to say one thing. The fact. The, Slovi- Z- 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 the fact that Slovenia, no, the fact that Zelina Vega is not it's start me. <laughs> a tremendous start on this, on this on this tangent I'm going on. The fact that Zelina Vega is not in the upper echelons of the women's division is a fucking travesty. She's better than majority of the women's roster. She's just fantastic. She can cut a promo. She's amazing in the ring. What? What? Just give just. I get that she's with Andrade and I did the mouthpiece, but no, 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 just let her do something as well. Right. Let them become an ultimate I'm, power couple. I'm going to say it now. I'm going to say it now. Vega to win the Rumble. Can we have Vega versus Lynch at Mania? Please. I'm going to oh, say that'd two, be great. I'm going to say two things to you guys. Number one, I'm going to, uh, um, number one, I'm going to say um, I'm 100% happy for this to be a thing. Yes. So Andrade is acting like she does. Say that again. That makes sense. No, because you, you cut I off. Said, <laughs> well, I'm 100% happy if for this to happen. I 100% agree with you guys. But I feel like her character only works if she has Andrade doing the same thing that she does for her in the women's division. What? As oh, in me. what? Him, what? Him battering the women on the outside to help her get the win. <laughs> Well, not quite that bad. Just <laughs> hitting basement runners to every woman <laughs> there is. It's oh, like, wow, you guys took it deep. Zena Vega is going to be the women's champion. Why? Andrade's <laughs> given every other woman on the roster a concussion. <laughs> <laughs> He's hit everyone with a Canadian people. destroyer. TK Cooper, eat your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somewhere TK Cooper is raging that, <laughs> that he stole his OG gimmick. <laughs> but... Um, the other thing I'm going to say is um, Zelina will never be the top woman in the division because Vince is racist. Anyway. Um, <laughs> and Bailey's up there. Yeah, but she doesn't... Uh, you know what? Let's not go into that. <laughs> Aha! See? <laughs> Beat you with logic. No. 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 This isn't a podcast conversation, Matthew. I'm being responsible. You put me in this position and I'm being responsible. 
Um, Lashley. <laughs> Lashley. 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 This is the thing. You guys keep doing it to me, and I love it. <laughs> That's what Lashley said. Lashley. Lashley. <laughs> um, right. Um, my favorite thing about this is Zelina's pure disbelief that she actually won a match all by herself. That was, was brilliant. She nah. was. <laughs> That was tremendous. That was so funny. She's like, I can do this? <laughs> she's, like, she's like, I, I mean, she was like, I won? I won by my... <laughs> Andrade, come in here! Look what I did! <laughs> I, I beat someone that's barely been on this show for two days! <laughs> do you love me now, mum? Do you love me now? It is them doing it. The best, the... We, don't joke, we don't joke about Zelina's parents. Yeah, that's it. One thing you don't do, because we love Zelina. One thing you don't like, yeah. Um, Tom, if you don't... If you don't know, we'll tell you. <laughs> Make you feel really bad after the podcast. Um, what I love about it is, it is it is it really, really does hammer home, even though King was like, they're a couple. No, it does hammer home the the little sister, big brother thing between Andrade and yeah. Zelina because she's proper like, going, did you see what I did? Did you see the wrestling that I did? I am good. And Andrade's like, yeah, well done. Like, <laughs> good, good for you. Good for you, Zelina. Good for you. Congratulations! <laughs> I was okay with losing this, like, because you were here, but like the fact we didn't. <laughs> bonus, <isn't it? laughs> and then he's just like, "Oh my god, I'm just going to walk past the nearest cupboard and leave her there, and let her just go on to her husband about how good of a wrestler she is." <laughs> <laughs> no, like, did this drive it home that their brother sister relationship more or less than the fact that they cosplayed as Jesse and Jane? <laughs> Probably slightly less. I'm now just imagining that Alistair that Andrade shoves her into a cupboard and he's and she's like, Alistair, Alistair, I won a match by myself. And then she's like, what was that in the corner? Why is Rusev? Why is Rusev ranking in the corner? And Alistair Black is like, this is not the fight I asked to be picked with me. <laughs> I can't believe the origin of this is just a one line I did on like Jesus. It's brilliant because at essence at the moment Raw is just a really fucking weird parody porn at this point. <laughs> yep. Hey, do you think Literally they'll bring the back some missions to Raw? This is all this is what this is the only way it can be leading to. Like you had Speaking of the submission sorority, they do have a new tag team that can be called that. And they did win. Um, Natalia tapped out Asuka in a tag match because blondes are better. Oh no, I had a, be- I had a better tag team name for Natalia and, and Charlotte. Go for it. White privilege. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh okay. we, we, we're, we're going there. Gold um. like their hair. Gold <laughs> like their <laughs> What? They're both, they're, they're both, they're, 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 both, they're both white women and also they're both second generation superstars that have everything given to them. <laughs> It's a joke. It is a joke. Wrestling internet. Do not cancel me. I was doing a funny. Lashley. Lashley. <laughs> no one was saying anything, so I just decided to just fill the air by shouting Lashley again. Fuck's sake. All right. Um. That was raw. Raw. Wow. <laughs> oh, I love that it was a really, really fun raw, and yet we still managed to like sample it down to. Cucking, fucking, and Humberto Carrillo sucking. It was. <laughs> was it? Was it? Re- was it really a good raw? I, I don't know. Like... I enjoyed it. I thought it was. Re- I generally like. There's been some raws that have really dragged. Like I've, I think I remember messaging you a few weeks ago saying that I literally watched it on double speed on my way home once because <laughs> I was like, I can't be able to sit through this whole the whole thing. That was SmackDown. I was only with that a raw. Yeah, that, I've, was, that was SmackDown two weeks ago. Um, I've Smackdown is dire right now. But I've I've done it with Raw where I fast forwarded for a, a lot of it, like like one point five double speed. And this one I watched the whole thing and it was really, really fun. I the Becky Lynch Shayna thing was awesome. The thing at the end was awesome. Um Humberto Carrillo losing for the third time in a week. Yeah, um, in it or yeah, second time in a week, third time in a row on Raw is awesome. Um Yeah, I we did like we didn't even Again, mention her. What was it? Her Buddy Murphy and Cedric Alexander. Oh, they had a really good match, but they're just going to let them. I think yeah, they did. Yeah, they- like, I'm sorry, we did also didn't mention the. Well, you know what? This is the perfect time to do it. Any other business, guys? Okay, yeah. So Buddy Murphy, Cedric Alexander. Again, we the match they can have, and 
the great thing is was during that match I honestly didn't know how he was going to finish you had NXT in the background in your mind thinking I was there for the whole match going they're going to come out now they're going to come out now yep I, exactly the same I was like when, out now. when are Riddle and Keith Lee coming out to be yeet these people around for a bit and yeah ooh Buddy Murphy versus Pete Dunne what buddy what Pete Dunn versus is is called <laughs> the other way. and now there's like on someone in, legitimately on setting off fireworks outside my house. Yeah. He's not new in Australian equivalent. I'm such a child, I got distracted by fireworks going off outside my house. <laughs> you look cow pretty late. <laughs> Literally I feel like I'm at the end of WrestleMania and I'm Becky Lynch at the moment with the fireworks going off in the background. Oh Lord. Oh. I can't think of anything else other than what? <laughs> well, I was going to say, any other business? No, because I've they, they no, said no, no other business. Cedric and Buddy, and let's make Selena yeah. Vega champion because yes. You want to make a more? Uh, you want to make a bigger case of that, or you just want to? No, just go 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 watch her do a moonsault into a fucking tornado DDT on Sin Cara on Raw, and tell me why she shouldn't be women's champion. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um. I any other business is this. Um, we have heard nothing from Jordan Miles. We have heard nothing from WWE. Jordan Miles gave the WWE a 24-hour um, window before he started talking. Um, however, they've said nothing, and he said nothing. Yeah, um, I, the next twenty, the next like six, seven hours is going to be real interesting. I'll be keeping an eye on Twitter because if Jordan Miles is going to say something, it's going to be soon. So, facts, true facts. All right, um, you tried social medias. Uh, you first. Should I, okay. Um, at Sean and Graps, because I literally just got onto Twitter and I'm watching a video and I can see a video of Sean and Graps. And <gasps> have you seen who turned up? Yep. No, I've just seen the opening matches. Fucking Carl Fletcher versus Zack Saber Jr. I know. <laughs> so, what? <laughs> I love that Nathan is angry. Yeah, he's uh, he's raging. Is Nathan probably because it's not Jonathan Gresham? But you know, he legitimately hates Zack Saber Junior. So one, it amuses me that he's um being annoyed, and two, to, to be honest, if we know uh, the, with the, the stuff that we know about Nathan, it makes perfect sense that he hates Zack Saber Junior. Yeah, because he likes Jonathan. Because he, he can only have there can only be room for one technical wizard in his wrestling, and he's picked that person. Uh, no. Uh, Tom, your social media. Um, mine, TD Walton. Please follow me. I, I want friends. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm the precise opposite. So I am going to ask you to follow um, at Death by Grab. <laughs> <laughs> Please, everyone. Even if, even though she's amazing, just, just message him saying. I hate Jordan Grace because <laughs> it's just fun to wind him up. Yeah. If everyone listening could just hashtag at Death by Graps, um, Zack Sabre Jr. is better than Gresham. And just, I want to see the, <laughs> I want to see his head explode. <laughs> so p- please do so. It, I will get tremendous joy from it. All right. I'm going to wrap this up quickly. Guys, we are at TWM Wrestle on Twitter and probably most other social media accounts. Um, I've got stuff in the oven that I need to take out. I needed to take it out 15 minutes ago. I don't think my family's eating tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow or whenever it is I do a podcast. I don't know.